My wife Katie and I served as missionaries in France from 1983 to 1994. That was the field that failed. After 10 years, we basically turned out the lights and locked the door and came home. A few years later, uh, I was asked to serve on the board, ironically enough, of OMS International, which is where I serve now. For a number of years, I did help a volunteer as a shepherd in Africa, working with uh, Francophone pastors in church planting, Central African Republic, Congo, Chad, Cameroon, wonderful blessing. Theological education, evangelism, church planting, partnerships is what OMS has been about and is about. The vision for one billion is truly a God-sized vision. Uh, many think it's an impossible vision, but it's far better to fail at doing the right thing than to succeed at doing the wrong thing. So I'm thrilled to be a part of an organization dreaming God-sized dreams that unless God is in it, we certainly will fail. Evangelism is famously defined as one beggar telling another beggar where to find bread. And it's not that we at OMS have the answer for the world's problems, but we do know where bread is and we know the one who does have the answer. And seeking to point people to Jesus and the bread of life is what OMS is all about. The commission that Jesus gave his church was to go into all the world and make not converts, but to make disciples. And from the beginning, OMS has understood the importance of building grace and character and truth. It's not just getting people saved for heaven when they die, but it's reforming the image of God, holy hearts, holy lives. That's what the understanding of the gospel that sent missionaries from OMS into the world. There are many ways one can be a part of the vision that OMS is committed to. Uh, certainly prayer, certainly giving money, those are obvious and rather easy ways to give. But just simply finding people who were involved in the vision, becoming part of their team, asking lots of questions. As Henry Blackaby famously put it in Experiencing God, just find out where God is at work and join Him. That's why I'm a part of OMS International. Bob Featherland has tapped into the DNA of OMS and their commitment to prayer, seeing that prayer is not just a department, prayer is not just one of the things that is done among a list of many. Prayer is the very foundation, seeking to bring the presence and the anointing and the blessing of God into all that we do. One of the privileges of my life has been to discover amazing people in God's work. And the part of the work that I'm involved with here at OMS International is meeting people who are committed to a God-sized vision. And being a part of their world is one of the great privileges of my life. It's an honor to be a part of OMS. In ministry organizations, it's very easy to forget what Jesus said to Peter in the 21st chapter of John, Peter, feed my sheep. It's all about the sheep. It's not about the structures. It's not about the budgets. It's not even about the vision, really. It's about sheep that need a shepherd. And I think the great joy of my life was when I was able to work with African pastors through OMS in countries like Central African Republic and Chad and people like Thierry and Freddie and Isaac and, uh, and others, Charles, uh, these men and women who are pouring out their lives in villages with Bibles and bicycles just sharing the love of Jesus as Islam is seeking to push down in the sub-Saharan Central Africa. That's what it's about. And that's why I'm committed to the vision of reaching the world through OMS. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, 
Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.